G'day everybody. Well, for today's autopsy, we're going to pull apart this LED light. It is 6 watts, 230 volt AC, 50 hertz, 2700K, whatever that is, E14. So it's the uh, small Edison screw socket. I originally had it in a uh, light, which I had up here down my end of the shed. But it's um, not really working properly. I've actually noticed the uh, top in it's all pushed in from where I've uh, screwed it in so that's not really a good sign and as a result of that it's actually shorted out and not working but I'm gonna get a uh, try and get a five foot fluoro batten up this end I know the um one of my favorite junk shops is actually selling quite a few at the moment so it might be a uh, trip down there to see if I can pick one up and I'm just gonna wire it in parallel with the one that's up here that one there just run the a uh, conduit with the cabling for it and do it that way but I might do another video on that depending on whether I get time because school's almost about to start up so you never know I may not be able to get time to do it but anyway for now let's just pull this apart and actually see what's inside an LED lamp well I've got the front cover off which is just a piece of plastic and it is heavily heat sunk on as I um, I'm guessing there's probably a heat sink up inside here and yeah there's some more of that nasty beryllium oxide compound which I'm going to have to scrape off it before I go any further but yeah there's the um the actual LED arrangement there it's not really much to it so uh, anyway I'll try and get that plate out and just see whether there's a step down transformer in, or something down inside here well that's everything that's inside an LED light like I thought there is a, uh, a power pack inverter that's on it of course, you've got your 240-volt AC coming in from the uh, the light terminal through the cap. Of course, these wires weren't actually sold, weren't even soldered on. They were just uh, they must just have been pressed up against the uh, the cap and the pin at the end when the uh, when it was crimped onto the plastic housing. Which is nothing really much to that. It's just one piece construction. But anyway, you've got a um little RFI suppression choke to get re rid of any noise then you got two filter caps and some kind of resistor there not sure whether it's a ballast resistor or not but you got a um that's your diode rectifier bridge rectifier on the bottom here diode one two three and four and then there's not really much underneath the tape there's just a uh, 7 microfarad 400 volt electrolytic cap and a, uh, another resistor and then that's your output to the LED assembly on the end. And like I thought, it is heavily heat sunk, obviously, because this thing must get pretty hot when it's running. Although a lot of the other, the ones that are made for halogens and things, like the GU10s, the, uh, the metal housing that they just put all of this in is the heat sink. It's not like this, which has got a plastic covering on it. But I might keep that in the heat sink and see if I can actually run that off a battery or something. Cause this thing did chuck out quite a bit of light when it was working it was only the uh the cap buggered up on it and shorted out for it to uh stop working but, uh yeah anyway that's um that's what's inside an led light there's really not much to them you've just got your ac input a uh, power converter and your uh led assembly on the end thanks for watching